Well, hi everybody out there on YouTube. Welcome to the Old School Reefer channel. Newly named. This is Sparky Mike. Wanted to give maybe a few tips on how to make it through a chiller failure. Fortunately, I guess mine has sprung a leak, so I can kind of run it part time. But uh, the leak has developed into over a gallon a day or more and has actually started to leak onto the table underneath the chiller. Even though I have a wick rag and some plexiglass underneath of it to wick it into the bucket. Which has been working for a couple days but woke up yesterday to a puddle actually on the table and soaking into the chipboard. The plywood that it's made of. So anyways, um, a fellow reefer here on YouTube by the name of Reef Girl, I believe she lives in Canada, um, left some comments when I disclosed that I had a chiller failure and recommended this guy out in California, Oh Too Many Fish or something, also another YouTuber who keeps all kinds of um, saltwater reef fish in tanks outside in LA and uses nothing but evaporation and fans for cooling and apparently maintains these tanks at 80 degrees or less um, so in 100 degree heat no less so I take a few tips from Reef Girl reminding me of that guy and Determining the easiest way to keep my system cool enough that nobody is in trouble before the chiller arrives. Or hopefully don't lose anybody before the chiller arrives. So what I've done in my case is I have last summer to keep the house cooler, I installed a swamp cooler. And it is actually fed through a basement window well window and I made a sheet metal grate to place a filter on it so when it blows it blows clean air as you can see that filter gets just turns black within about 30 days due to Denver pollution basically the brown cloud so I filter my air and what I determined is to keep everybody happy I cooled the basement. I basically sealed off my basement, this area, sealed it off with some Visqueen, closed all the doors everywhere else, and sealed it up so I could basically blow winter air, which is pretty cool. I live in Denver, so it cools down quicker than the rest of the nation. And so I'm pumping in 40, 30, actually 20 to 50 degree air. Um, it's set on a thermostat basically, a temperature controller, and I have it turned down to 65 or something. So I'm maintaining 65, I believe, in the basement. Uh, 68 something, 67. And basically I am maintaining my system upstairs and down here um, with limited pumps running. I have shut off all major lights or turned everything way down, um, shut off UV sterilizer, anything that would create heat into the system, and turned the lights down to just nil, basically. And basically sealed the basement up and really running super cool air down here to try and maintain a steady temperature in the system. Of course, the big tank is upstairs and it collects a lot of heat, so. Um, so far I was able to maintain like 76.8 through the night um, Kind of a balancing act to get the right temperature down here and balance the 75 degrees. I'm maintaining upstairs and Keep the system steady and not have to run the chiller Therefore, I don't fill my bucket up and leak um, There's a couple other ways you could probably do this one would be a wart chiller if you didn't have a nice cooler on the wall there to cool your little area um, you could possibly run a small pump 
such as maybe a CC pump or such and fit it to a 50 or 100 foot coil of vinyl hose which you can actually get at a hydroponics store um, the vinyl hose you run basically in well you could run it into a bathtub of ice water a big and throw the coil in the bathtub and bring both ends out here and circulate your water your tank water into the bathroom through the coil of ice water and back out and dump it back into your sump it's like a wart chiller that they use for I guess making beer and such um, if you have cold outside you could run the hose outside leave the coil outside to chill out and circulate the water back in um, you could set this all up to a temperature switch of some sort waterborne temperature controller and it would turn on and off and steady your system some and soak up some of the excess heat created by pumps and such um, a tub of ice water in your bathroom would work too um, maybe any other idea for trying to get circulated water in fact you could circulate your tank water um, several ways actually or circulate throw the coil of hose in your sump and circulate cold water through the hose and back out of the system cold fresh water maybe a bathtub full of ice you can do it in reverse um, there's several ways to do it there's several ways to skin a fish I guess so anyways tips for chiller failures um, and what I've come up with to maintain the five six what are we running now six days I guess seven days I've been running um, with limited lights and waiting for a chiller to show up which is supposed to be here tomorrow sometime I even offered to go pick it up at the shipping department at their dock but I still can't get it till 8 o'clock tomorrow morning so um, this is a way to maintain your system until you can get a replacement chiller anyways this old school reefer channel signing out with Sparky Mike have a great day thumbs up suggestions always accepted and appreciated subscribe if you like and I might even subscribe back take care special thanks to reef girl for sparking my mm, brain I guess and getting things going so or maintaining so anyways take care have a great day